Another way to show off your incredible Flowscape creations is to create a virtual tour. In order to do this, we're going to need a series of 360 degree panorama screenshots. So a panorama is going to take a screenshot of everything around the camera. All of this, above and below. In order to take one, we're going to open our settings and click Capture Panorama. The scene will briefly go dark as the image is captured. The resulting image looks like this. It's a little crazy, but it's exactly what we want. Now I'm making a virtual tour, so I need more than one location. So I'll go ahead and capture an image at each of my locations. Now that I have that, I'll head over to our virtual tour software. I'm going to be using a website called Kula. They have a lot of free features and some pretty powerful pro features as well. At the top, I'm going to go to Upload, Create Tour. Here you can name it, add a description, set your privacy, all the basics. I'll also be using the pro feature Walkthrough, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Now I'll upload my images and hit post. When it loads, it's like we're right back in our scene. Now at the very top, you can add images and text overlay or a description to the image. This icon here is your heading. You can click and drag and drop it wherever you want it. When your scene first loads, this is where your viewer will be looking. Next, we have the sun effect. Now this adds a lens flare and a dynamic lighting effect. Just as before, click and drag to place. The dynamic lighting effect means as you look towards the sun, everything lightens and as you look away, your image will darken. Kula also offers a number of filters for your images. A little bit further down, you can actually limit the zoom or the angle that your viewer is able to tilt. Back at the top, we're going to talk about hotspots. Clicking on hotspots will add one. Again, click and drag to move. You can change the image of your hotspot. You can import your own or select one of the provided ones. Now the settings at the top will change its appearance and size and even let you place it on the ground. Under click action, you can set what happens when a viewer clicks the hotspot, such as display a text or play a sound. You can also select, go to another post. This allows you to select another scene, which means your viewer can move from scene to scene by clicking on a hotspot. If I go through and put hotspots in each of my images, we now have a forest our viewer can navigate through. 